Good morning, everyone. Random Canuck here. Okay, so we just had a huge trade go down in the WHL involving these guys here, the Prince Albert Raiders and the Seattle Thunderbirds. Sorry to the Seattle Thunderbirds. I don't have any of your gear. Um, holy cow. Uh, this has got to be one of the biggest hauls that I have ever seen for a WHL trade. This is unbelievable. So the Seattle Thunderbirds have acquired Blackhawks prospect Allen in blockbuster deal with the Raiders. The Seattle Thunderbirds have added a seventh NHL prospect to their roster, acquiring Chicago Blackhawks prospect Nolan Allen in a Wednesday blockbuster with the Prince Albert Raiders. Allen, who's 19, and the rights to 17-year-old forward Reese Shaw head to Seattle while returning the Raiders receive forwards Gabe Ludwig, Bra uh, Braden Dubé, Dube, or Dubé, I don't know how that's pronounced, I'm sorry, defenseman Easton Kovix, and six WHL prospect draft selections, including first-round picks in 2023 and 2024. Allen, who hails from David, Saskatchewan, departs the Raiders, having skated in 162 WHL regular season contests. The, the outgoing Prince Albert captain and former third overall WHL pick had recorded 11 points, four goals, seven assists, and 16 appearances with the Raiders this season. So they just traded their captain. That's that's a tough one. Uh, he was selected by Chicago in the first round of the 2021 NHL draft uh, and in Seattle joins fellow Blackhawks first round pick Kevin Korchinski on the Thunderbirds blue line. And don't forget, they also have Luke Prokop. Uh, so Seattle is kind of doing what Edmonton did, picking up defensemen and picking up NHL prospects. Ludwig from Eagle River, Alaska, has amassed five points, three goals, two assists this season with Seattle, and has recorded 24 points over the course of his WHL career. A second-round pick by the Thunderbirds in 2019, uh, the 18-year-old appeared in 20 contests last spring during during Seattle's run to the 2022 WHL Championship Series. I don't know. I think it's pronounced Dube, D-U-B-E, or Dube. I, I'm really sorry if I butchered that. Like Lud Ludwig, uh, a second-round selection by the Thunderbirds going 29th overall in the 2020 WHL Prospects Draft. Uh, hailing from Roblin, Manitoba, the 17-year-old has scored twice, adding two assists in 14 WHL contests or contests this season. Uh, Kovix uh, from Delta BC was acquired by Seattle during the summer from Lethbridge, and has recorded one assist in 10 games during the 2022-2023 season. He turns 18 years of age November 29th, so a couple of weeks. Um. We're a third of the way through the season, and we are on the outside looking in, general manager uh, Curtis Hunt said. I believe this trade gives us better depth in our forward group and adds speed and skill up front. You can't replace Nolan Allen, Hunt added, uh, but Easton is a player that can play a physical stay-at-home type of game. Uh, the rest of the group is going to have to step up and fill in min those minutes. I think collectively we should be a little better as an entire group. We're inserting some energy uh, and some pace up front. So that was comments by uh, Prince Albert Raiders uh, GM. Um, uh, what's his name? Curtis Hunt. I don't know. That kind of sounds to me like they're waving the white flag to me. I mean, like it, it with you when you trade your captain and and I mean Prince Albert is low in the standings, but. I mean, I do believe the trade deadline's January, so I mean, I Edmonton's doing the same thing. They they made a deal the other day. They traded Jakob Demick to um, the Kamloops Blazers. The only reason I didn't do a video on that is because, well, Edmonton's a last place team. It makes sense, and the haul wasn't that much. This haul though is absolutely insane. Um, now, uh, in addition to a uh, in addition to first round selections in twenty twenty three and twenty twenty four. The 2023 first round pick was originally held by the Kelowna Rockets. So it was Kelowna, and then they traded that to Seattle, and now Seattle trades that to Prince Albert. Um, so 
it's it's going to be a low draft pick in the first round, so it won't be a very high pick. In addition to first round selections 2023 and 2024, Prince Albert also receives a second round pick in 2026, a third round selection in 2024, a sixth round pick in 2025, and a conditional sixth round selection in 2026. Um, yeah, let me just show you the picture of this haul. Like, this will be on the cover of the video, but my God, look at that. Like, that is one of the, like, that's what the Raiders got. They got two players, and or sorry, three, I think it's three players. Oh, no, that's what, the, yeah, the Raiders receive all that. Yeah, the Thunderbirds receive Nolan Allen and Reese Shaw. Um, yeah, like, look at what the Raiders get. Like, that's a haul. Like, I have never seen a list that long. Now, think of it this way. Could you imagine what Connor Bedard would fetch the Regina Pats if they were to trade him? Like, I don't think the Pats are trading Bedard now. I don't. I think that ship has sailed. I will absolutely be shocked if they do. But, my goodness. Um, yeah, they get 2023... 2024, 2024, 2025, 2026. They get six draft picks. Six draft picks and only one of them a conditional. So Seattle better uh, at least make it to the WHL championship or else um, or else uh, it's it's going to be really interesting to see what happens to them in the offseason. Um, I, I, I got a feeling it's going to be Winnipeg and Seattle now. I mean, it's not going to be what I predicted with Cam Loops versus Moose Jaw. Um, I kind of missed the boat on that, but that's okay. That's what predictions are for. They're fun. And I kind of just kind of went with last year and kind of added, I, I should be a little bit more careful and thinking, well, if the, the, the team doesn't really change, i.e. Seattle, then they're the likely of them meeting going back to the final should happen. It's the same thing with Portland, right? With Portland and Edmonton, those three straight years, right? So, you know, um, yeah, it's this is a big trade. And for Prince Albert, you're looking at next year already. Um, let me just see where Prince Albert is in the WHL standings. I sort of looked last night, but it wasn't really updated because the games weren't completed. All right, so looking at the standings, uh, Seattle's second in the Western Conference with 16 games played. They're 12-3-1 with 25 points. Uh, Prince Albert is ninth in the conference. 21 games played. They're 7-12-2 for 16 points. I mean, they're only two points back of the playoffs, so they're not really out of it per se. So I don't know. This is weird for Prince Albert. They're not really out of it, but they kind of just made a trade that makes them look like they're out of it. I don't know. I I, I find that weird. Um, Edmonton, by the way, is 2-17-1, so they lost last night to Red Deer. And they had 11 power plays. They only scored once on 11 power plays. Absolutely brutal. Um, yeah, I don't know with Prince Albert making that trade now. I You trade your captain, you're not quite out of... Something, something else is there. Something, something's not right. I maybe they just want to go. Ah, you know what? Let's just rebuild. I don't know. Maybe they're sacrificing a playoff spot for a rebuild. Really weird. Uh, the top team still in the East is Winnipeg at eighteen and one. Uh, ever since that series though versus Red Deer, uh, or sorry, ever since Red Deer played that series against Winnipeg. I mean, they're still 16 3 0 and 1 with 33 points, but here come the hot Saskatoon Blades on their heels. And Moose John Calgary are tied with, at for third, fourth, and fifth. That'd be an interesting playoff series. I'm telling you, Calgary, I, I didn't think Calgary could get that high or this high, but you know, Calgary, they're, they're doing really well this year. Um, Regina's seventh. So Regina's seventh. They got 20 points. They're only two points ahead of Swift Current for the eighth. So, I don't know. They dropped. They were in fourth. And now Moose Jaw, Calgary, Lethbridge have passed them. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not out of the question totally yet if they trade Bedard. I don't know. I say if they're in seventh or eighth by trade deadline, I think you trade Bedard. I think you do. you you got to trade him. Um, he hasn't played a game in the playoffs in his whole WHL career. I don't know. Do you trade him to Winnipeg, Red Deer? 
you trade him to Portland. Portland's the one leading the W the the Western Conference, you know, by five points ahead of Seattle. So we'll see what, how this trade goes. But anyways, that is a giant haul. Uh, again, it's it's a huge trade for the Prince Albert Raiders. So again, the trade is uh, Raiders receive Gabe Ludwig an 04 forward, uh, Braden Dube or Dubé an 05 forward. Whoops, as my uh, Easton Kovex, an 04 defenseman. Raiders received the following draft picks. A 2023 first round pick, which was originally Kelowna's. A 2024 first round pick. A 2024 third round pick. A 2025 sixth round pick. A 2026 second round pick. And a 2026 sixth round pick, which is conditional. Thunderbirds receive Nolan Allen, an 03 defenseman, and prospect Reese Shaw, who is an 05 forward, going to the Seattle Thunderbirds. Anyways, just want to do a quick trade on this before I hit the gym because this this just happened and it blows my mind that Prince Albert would do this. But you know what? They're probably already looking towards the future, looking to next season, then want to do a rebuild and 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 uh, rake in some uh, draft picks. So. We'll, I'll keep an eye on Prince Albert to see how this trade goes. I don't know if this is going to make them slide farther down the bottom or not, but let's see. Anyways, this is the Random Canuck. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.